and what the, the other thing I learned about no matter what the, the, the end result is I'm happy that God healed me oh I'm so happy that he healed me whatever the end result if I were to die I would still be happy because I'm dying in him with him he says he will never leave you or forsake you and it, our ultimate goal what, my ultimate goal is to spend eternity with him this life I'm going to live it to its fullest. I'm going to enjoy it to its fullest. But the ultimate goal is to live with him. And when I look at patients that are sick or, or on the deathbed and those that have the hope, they are so much more happier. They are at peace. And this is what this is this is what I want my life to be the peace whether I'm happy I'm alive and I'm going to share his word and I'm going to praise him but if it fits the other way around it's it's hard but this is not what we live for we live for to spend eternity with him and so I'm happy he has healed me and I will continue to praise him but you know one thing that's in it that is inevitable right is the end in a book that I'm going to write. I don't know when yet, but I'm going to. It's it's the the the, the skeleton is there. I call it my journey. The power of the power of a relationship with God, the power of a loving husband, the power of a praying mom, the power of sisters' love. The power of a beautiful daughter, the power of a sisterhood, a friend, the power of God in your life. This is it. And expanding on each. Oh, and the other thing, the other thing, the power of your work family. Because the work family that I belong to, I, I would be remiss if I do not mention them. Every day during my surgery, I was opening a present. They send me gifts and I'm like, first day, present. Second day, another present opening. Another day, another present. I'm like, this is just beautiful. People. But God has sent people like that in my life to just love on me. Just showing just beautiful. Felt, I felt so loved during that process, you know. Just love people praying for me, the churches. I'm like, Jesus, you just love this daughter of yours so much. You know, there is a song, oh, you love me so much, Lord. Oh, you love me too much, Lord. I'm like, and I said, yeah, I want to say praise the Lord. I love him so much. Yeah, that's it. And I had to put, I forgot Dr. Felice, the power of a physician who believes in God. And both my physician, my oncologist, and my surgeon believed in God. And I can tell, when you have one that do not believe in God, I remember I went to a surgeon and she did not believe in God. And my husband in his spirit knew that she did not believe in God and she was treating me like a statistic. And my husband, he said, no. We're not going to that lady. I could not understand why he was telling me that because I just needed to do it. And he said no. And at the last minute, we got that man, that surgeon who believed in God. Yeah, my husband was so convinced. He was in tears that he, that this woman should not touch me. And we got another surgeon, the top of his field, last minute, last minute. He was able to, and he believed in God. And he called me with that news. And that morning, I was singing um, that song. Oh, my goodness. I, I cannot remember it just now. But that, I should have written it down. But that morning, I was singing that song, and he called. And I was like, he said, Charmaine, I've got the best news ever for you. The part that the cancer was in, under the arm, the nodes, everything, nothing, nothing, zero, zero. And I'm like, praise the Lord. My husband was there. And I was just like, 
just want to say to anyone listening who has ever received a diagnosis of cancer or anything terminal, faith is so important. Faith is so important. Treatment is important too. But having the faith, and God says, he does not want us to doubt. It's an offense because we know he can do it. And he knows what's best for us. And if he says later or not this time or whatever it is, we know he's doing what's best for us. And, 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 and know that he will send people in your path. He will send, he will, he will make a way when you think there is no way. He will make a way for you. And it's so beautiful so beautiful and always remember always remember to give him the honor the glory and the praise it is all him and i'm just so happy the joy and the happiness that i have inside it's yeah the victory is mine yes thank you for having me the pleasure was all mine thank you